What's up everybody, it's ComputerWiz4321 and I'm going to show you how to connect your Xbox 360 or PS3, whatever you want, to your laptop wirelessly. Like plugging the Ethernet cable into the laptop and then using the wireless internet off of that. It's actually quite simple, that way you don't have to buy a wireless adapter from Microsoft or Xbox. Um, PS3 actually, come to think of it, has a built-in wireless adapter in it, so I don't see why you would need to do that, but you never know. It's what you want. Alright, now what you need to do is you're going to need to click down here. This is actually a tutorial for Windows 7. I'll probably make one for Windows Vista and Windows XP later, but for right now it's just Windows 7. What you got to do is you got to type in View Network Connection. And then it will pop up right here and just click on it. And then you'll notice three different connection types. This wireless connection to you don't have to worry about that. That might not be on your computer, it might um mine just have happen, happens to be on it, but Yep. Anyways, just disregard this or any other one. All you need to do about it is worry about wireless network connection and local area connection. Now Will only work if you're getting internet wireless three wirelessly through your Wi-Fi on your laptop. You'll it will say wireless network connection, and it will say local area connection. Local area connection, your Ethernet plug where it goes into wireless connection is obviously your Wi-Fi. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to hold down the control key on your keyboard and click on local area connection and wireless network connection. Then you gotta right click and then click bridge connection. Then it will bridge them. And then what you should notice is that network bridge pops up and then if you look at my cursor down here, over here, that will turn into a star and then it will turn into an X. The X means once the X pops up, then you'll know that it's working. And there's the X. And then it says network bridge, um to my wireless router, Vandenberg. And then it will say under wireless network connection. So local area connection, which is where you plug your Xbox into, is still unplugged, but that's because I don't have it plugged into there. But as soon as you plug your Xbox in and then sign in, this X will go away, and then it should say enabled or connected or something along the lines of that. And then maybe this X will go away and turn back into the bars, but it might not. I'm not exactly sure at the moment. Um, but no matter what, it's going to work, whether the X is there or it's not. You still have an internet connection because it says internet connection, right? Internet access right there. And if you still like to look at your signal strength, you can always just click on it. And then it will just show you right there. Five bars. But, yep, that's basically it. Um, anything else I have to think of? Um, oh, and... If you want to delete this, all you have to do is, you don't need to worry about these two, all you have to do is right click on Network Bridge, and then click delete. And then it will get rid of it, um, just in case you wanted to get rid of the connection or whatever, and then it will reconnect, see the little circle, and there's my five bars. Comes back, um, that's basically it. If you have any questions, comments, just comment the video. Subscribe because I will have many more videos on tutorials if you need help. Alright, thanks for viewing, and this is um, ComputerWiz4321. Have a nice day.